The cabochon is a heartbreaker. It would be hard to resist this curly-coated cutie. That's a very cute dog. Did you knit it yourself? The cabochon is a cross between a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and the Bichon Frise. The Cavalier King Charles is a really uh, nice dog, a lap dog. The Bichon Frise brings its people skills to the table, making the cabochon a very friendly pooch. They definitely have a very sweet face that matches their demeanor. While this dog is building in popularity, it remains rare. Compared to the Labrador, who had 30,000 litters, only 51 cabochon litters were registered in 2008. That's 600 times more Labradors than cabochons. The first litter of cabochons arose from a happy accident when a champion Cavalier King Charles mated with a Bichon Frise in 1996, resulting in small and sturdy lap dogs that weigh from 10 to 20 pounds. One of the most charming things about the cabochon are their eyes. They have these huge, sweet, fleeting eyes that you see in both the Cavalier and the Bichon. The Cavalier lends the Cavachon its long, floppy ears and silky coat. The Cavachon's fur can vary from wavy to curly and come in black, tan, and sable as well. The most common coloration is white with apricot patches. And the Bichon brings the low dander, low shed fur, making it and its Cavachon offspring a favorite for families with allergies. But it's the coat that may keep the Cavachon a first-generation hybrid forever. Some breeders have found that second-generation Cavachons lose their low shed properties. The combination of low allergens and a charming demeanor make the Cavachon welcome just about anywhere. Meet Sophie. This cute Cavachon participates in the Read Program, where children read aloud to dogs. Jennifer Pissara supervises the program. The Read Program is a great program where we have a trainer who has a dog, and they come into the library and let children read to them. Today, Sophie and her owner, John Barrows, are visiting the Rockville Public Library. Sophie is a very loving dog. She loves people. She's also very, very calm, and I think I'm a lucky owner. She's a great dog. John begins this session with a book he wrote that tells the story of Sophie's life. It allows the children to warm up and get comfortable with reading aloud. My name is Sophie. I was born in Mar March 2002. I, I was very cute as a little puppy. Reading to the dogs has been very helpful in that the children are able to read in a non-evaluative way. Nobody is critiquing them or criticizing them. When he was younger, Evan had tubes placed in his ears to combat ear infections but the tubes made hearing word pronunciations difficult. I am called a cav... A cabochon? Cabochon, which is... Sophie cuddles up, and she and John become a calm and attentive audience. Sophie has done wonders for the kids. Sophie's very calm and very quiet. Um, having a companion right next to you at your feet is just very soothing and very comforting. Being the dogs has... it helps me more because I like dogs a lot, and I like, like reading to them, and sometimes I play with them. And the program is a hit. The children's reading scores have improved, and there is a waiting list of children who want to participate. The children's test scores have improved, their reading levels have improved, and parents have made comments to me about the excitement that the children have toward reading now. Sophie is a special incentive to visit the library. The program's graduates are happy to see her, and she may just make a new recruit while she's there. Cavachons can make wonderful companions because they are eager to please, but there are things to watch out for when training your Cavachon. They tend to be dogs with very soft temperaments, and that means that you want to avoid any potential fear issues by getting them used to as many people, places, and things as possible at a young age. Like other mixed breeds, the Cavachon may have inherited diseases found in its parent. In this case, screening for eye problems and heart disease are necessary, as well as keeping an eye on the long drop ears for potential infection. But the Cavachon in general has a stellar personality, making it a welcome part of any household. Now this, of course, is gonna be a superb family dog. 
If you're not a fan of grooming, this may not be the pup for you. Now, because they have the Bichon in them and the Cavalier, which has a constantly growing coat, they do require a lot of grooming. They need daily brushing, and they're going to need trimming at least once a month. While the Cavachon beauty routine may be involved, their space requirements are minimal. The Cavachon would be a very good apartment dog because they're not very yappy, and it's very easygoing, and they're just adorable. Every dog is different, but in general, the Cavachon thrives in apartment living. There are a number of genetic diseases to watch out for, as well as ear infections. The Cavachon require frequent comb outs and trimming. Start training early, they benefit from that early socialization. In general, this hybrid works well in any family. There is something about them that just draws people in. Coming up next on Designer Dogs 101, what happens when you cross two of the smallest breeds on the planet? The Chorky.